fingerprint sensors. Once it was something we only saw in movies and thought was something of the future. Now they are already being replaced by facial recognition. Well, what if I told you that I forking love fingerprint sensors and today I'm showing you this little fingerprint sensor that I got on Amazon for my desktop PC. It's gonna be a short one, but whatever. That's right, for just 25 US dollars, you can get this tiny little USB that will turn your old dusty PC into a modern piece of technology. My name is QB Ron Whatever, and this, this is the PQI My Loki fingerprint sensor. It can reach your fingerprint 360 degrees around and work surprisingly well. But I can tell you all this, but PQI already made a great video explaining how this little thing works. The age of password has been and gone. Fingerprint is coming. It's coming, it's coming. Wasn't that easy as one, two, three? Also set a password for additional protections. Yup, it's done. Now, all jokes aside, let's talk about this nifty little thing. I put mine right here underneath my desk using a little USB hub. You can store up to 10 fingerprints on the device, but I decided to only add my left and right index finger. And that is, if I walk into my room, I can quickly unlock my computer using my right hand. And if I sit down in this chair, I can quickly do it using my left hand. It of course uses Windows Hello, so the age, age of passwords passwords hasn't been, been gone. You still do have to set up a pin and remember that one though. Installation of this device is really easy. You just head over to their website, download the software, plug it in, and you're done. The sensor, it is not the biggest you've ever seen, but I never really had any struggles with the device. From time to time, it struggled a little bit scanning my finger, resulting in me to use my pin, but 95 out of the 100 times I used it, it worked flawless. Now, I've been using this device for a while now, and to my surprise, when writing this actual video, I found out the sensor supports a lot more than just Windows Hello. I headed over to their website and saw a download for the PQI Key SF installer. I installed it and apparently you can encrypt and decrypt your poor Yeah, that's definitely not in the script. ...files with this thing. And it works really simple. You right click a file, hit encrypt, and when attempting to open that file, you have to scan your fingerprint in order to access it. Now, I'm not a super amazing software engineering dude, so I don't know if the encryption is any good, but it's probably good enough to hide shit from your family. Within the software, you can also set up a specific folder, which will then auto-magically encrypt everything within that folder, which also, to my surprise, worked simple. You do have to make sure you keep the software running in the background, though, because it won't encrypt anything in the folder oh. if that is turned off. You apparently can also use this sensor to log into your web accounts, but even with their amazing instructional video, you will be remembered and listed. Cool. I just couldn't get it to work. Even if I did, it uses Internet Explorer, so that function is rather useless, to be honest. All in all, I think this little thing is great, even if you just use it for Windows Hello. I would not necessarily recommend it for laptops, as it would just stick out and look pretty ugly, but for what I have set up right here, I think it's perfect. I could imagine something like this being useful in a work environment as well, for maybe example a computer in the office that only a few people may access. I don't know, but I really think it shines in the personal computer department. I don't know what to say about this thing anymore. I hope you liked this video because, well, we're coming to an end. If you liked this video, then feel free to hit that like button. If you want to see more of this, then make sure you subscribe. But my name is QB Rob, whatever, and I hope all of y'all have a good one. Bye.